So we just edged the white car, that's one. Then where my truck is is two. This one is three. And now we go behind and we'll go edge number four. So we'll actually have five yards edged and one completely mowed. You watched me mow that one a little bit earlier. But one completely done, five edged. And we just keep on going from there. So uh, after this, after I edge this one, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and mow all four, weed eat all four, and then blow off all four. Let me roll this up. Now remember, all these yards are a week old. So, and these are healthy yards. These yards aren't normally simple to do, but hey, we do what we gotta do, right? We do it, we get it done. Let me set you guys up here. I'll go ahead and edge this one. ready to mow here's the backyards there's one two three and then across the street way over there is four so we'll go knock these out right now
All right, guys, so we got five done now. So we got one down the street, two, three, four, and the one across the street makes five. So we got five of our 10 done. I'm not gonna tell you what time it is, but I do need to keep hustling. You know, I gotta pick up some trash. I need to keep hustling. Uh, there you go. And then the white car. So we're halfway there. All right, guys. So we gotta make a run to the gas station up here. My favorite place. Shit, I'll put you down. Cause I gotta piss. <laughs> I gotta piss. Uh, and And I made a mistake. I said normally I'm done at three. No, normally I'm done at about two. It's, it'd be like 7.30 to two uh, for these 10 yards. So I got about a almost 9 a.m. start. So I'm hoping to be done around 3.30. If I could be done around 3.30, man, that'd be pretty, pretty darn kick butt. Um, with my 32 and no trailer and stuff and not not lugging the 52 around and not using all the gas that the 52 uses in comparison to my to my 32 my 32 uses no gas i mean in fact i can't even remember the last time i put gas in my 32. um yeah, i'm just not sure but we just passed three houses that i gotta do and then here's four right here and then five right over there so those will be the five but we gotta go up here i gotta piss there's just nowhere to pee in this area, you know, I mean, you can't even like find a bush because the neighbors and the houses behind you and right around the corner, man, all the second st all the second floor houses, you know, two-story homes around here, and they're all new homes, so there's no big trees. Man, there's just nowhere safe to hide. And you know, you don't want to be seen doing that, man. That's, that's not cool. And then next thing you know, you, you got neighbors calling neighbors. Oh, did you see the lawn guy? relieving himself on so-and-so's tree, blah, 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 blah. No wonder why we have ducks here. <laughs> and then it dripped on his shoe and it, he wanted to shake my hand. So, you definitely want to avoid that. And, uh, you know, be careful. Don't get caught doing that crap, man. <laughs> if you can use a bathroom, try to use a bathroom. But if you got, like, an enclosed trailer, you know, bring a cup. Have like a stack of styrofoam cups or something in there. Freaking keep it private. So we're gonna roll up here. I'm going to uh, refill my coffee, probably grab a soda, piss, and it will be right back in here. Um, we're gonna lose about 20 minutes on this deal, but I gotta pee. So screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. All right, guys. So uh, here we go. I'm not going to tell you what time it is, because that's the whole thing. It's, I'm trying to show that I don't need a 52. I like 52, don't get me wrong, but so many people want to know why am I going backwards? Why would I go backwards? Blah, 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 blah. I don't think, I don't think choosing the right equipment for the job is backwards. Um, there will be days or jobs that you might, might be able to use a bigger mower, more efficiently and faster, um, but that doesn't mean run out and get it. You know, when the name of the game is not how much you make, but how much you keep. So you know, having a seven or eight thousand dollar mower, <laughs> if you were to buy it new, sitting on a trailer or sitting in your garage, except for a few days, I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. You know, I just don't. Now, if you go out and you pick up some huge apartment complex. Uh, you know, then that's that's totally different. You know, then you might you might be buying special equipment, you know, for something like that. But for one or two homes here or there, that it might make a difference. Nah. And I'm gonna try to show you guys, try to prove it today. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against it. I'm just saying you don't necessarily have to do it. Remember, this series is Have Truck Will Mow. Okay, that's the name of this playlist, and the name of the videos in that playlist is. 
lawn service business from the back of a truck. So it's kind of hard to put a 52 in the back of most trucks. All right, guys, uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we got five done. That truck is six, seven, eight. They're cut and they're edged. I can't tell you what time it is though, but they're all cut, they're all edged. So I just got a weed eat. So let me show you this backyard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, camera on the weed eater and we're gonna do action cam. And because I'm kinda in a hurry, you know, I'm, I'm trying to give an honest, uh, you know, depiction of 32 verse 52. And like I said, normally I'd be done with these yards around two o'clock. So here's the backyards. So you see this could all easily be 52. Hell, you could 72 Dixie Chopper this at 15 miles an hour. So every single yard that we did today has no gate or that we're gonna do today has no gates. So you could use whatever size machine you want. Hell, you can come in here with a, a bush hog for Christ's sakes. There's, uh, there's literally no advantage to having one mower over the other. Uh, like, you know, a smaller mower. Um, because, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta go through the gates anyways. So, with that said, this is really an awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity for me to show you guys an honest, um, you know, we're using a 32 where I could be using a 52. We're using a pickup truck where I could be using a trailer and a 52. And we're not. We're, uh, we're using a 32 and a pickup truck. Um, and that's the name of the game with this series and I'm not cheating. I could be using a 52 But I want to show you guys what happens compared to having a 52 in a trailer um, You know and that 52 is a commercial grade 52 So, you know, you can't say that it's a garbage 52. I mean, that's a commercial grade 52 that kicks ass I mean, There's nothing wrong with that mower. I just personally don't believe I need it and we're gonna find out today if I do because if I could ever use that machine it would be this day this is one of those days where that machine would work one day every two weeks it would be this day and I think I could probably put one more day together where I can do route discipline route density all one shot I mean I'm doing all these yards today 10 yards today I'm doing them all in one neighborhood I mean eight of them are right here on this one street um, so, and then I got two right around the corner from each other, or one, two right around the corner, right across the street from each other, kind of. Um, I do them individually because they're kind of, they're too far away, but I'll show you. Um, so we're going to weed eat and blow off. Uh, I'm going to do action cam weed eater. So we're going to go ahead and mount you right here. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not stopping to play games. Um... I'm gonna put this on right now. Sorry about my hand. So we'll fire this thing up. I'm gonna fast forward the video because you will get nauseous and seasick. You'll get motion sickness following the weed eater, uh, but I'll fast forward it and we'll go from there. So let's see how this looks. Not bad. Let's go up a little bit and over a little bit. All right, so one, two, and then the third one right there, white truck. You guys see my box, 48 inch uh, Husky box or Cobalt from uh, Lowe's, $159, yeah, 159 bucks. Fits right behind the blower. Um, gets everything off of the bed of the truck except my gas can and my one gallon spray can spray bottle so everything is off the bed of the truck now um, making things a lot easier and of course I had to put my flag up I got my flag waving so let's go to work guys
take a look. There's one done, so we got two more. White truck, silver car. Look at that truck. You know, sometimes I actually freak out. I forget the weed eaters in my hand and I look and I'm like, holy crap, I'm missing a tool. <laughs> I do that with the hedge trimmer or with the edger too. Oh boy, I got issues. Here we go.
60 degrees while standing in one spot. You can't do that with a shield. it in to charge it and the camera was on standby and if you plug it in the camera won't shut off it won't go to sleep so the battery didn't charge it just stayed stable very low so then it died real fast when it was on the weed eater boat we got six seven and eight done six seven the truck and eight the car so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the battery charge up some more on the camera and I'll go do uh, number nine and then we'll fire the camera back up so you can see me blowing it off so there will be proof that number nine is done. And then uh, we'll put it back on charge. I'll do the same thing on number 10, and then we'll see what time it is. Hey, look, no trailer. I could turn around the neighbor's driveway. Ha ha. Oh. Cooking with gas, baby. Cooking with gas. Speaking of which, I haven't gotten gas for this thing since Saturday. Here it is Tuesday. I put five gallons in it. So making money and keeping money. It's the name of the game, baby. It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. All right, guys, number nine, right here. Aha. Alright guys, that's nine. We are done. One more to go. Just zoomed in. A little bit. So one more to go. Nine yards done. Um, nobody lives here. Empty house. Snowbirds. They'll be down in uh, I think mid to late November. So, simple, simple. Let's go do, uh, let me put this thing back on the charge and let's go do number ten. Number ten is See that white, see that jacked up white truck right there? That's not it. That one's it. It's neighbor, that really big house. That's number 10, and we're right here. And then, 
right after that blue SUV, you can't see the road, but there's a left turn. That's where the eight houses are, right on that street. And that street's about a half a mile long. It's a cul-de-sac. So the eight houses I just did were right there on a half mile street. And the very first one we did is the very last house down there. So we went all the way to the end. We did one, then we did a group of four, then we did a group of three. Now we did one and one. So that's one and four is five, then a group of three is eight. This one's nine. And that one right there will be number 10. So that's what we got. So let's go, one more. Well, we are on number 10. It's cut edged and trimmed. We just gotta blow it off. So we're doing good. Got a little bit of debris in the garbage can. I will take care of that when I get home. It's got some thorns on it, so I don't wanna leave that at a customer's house. So, uh, toolbox has a center console. <laughs> Got tools in it, so uh, I needed a center console, so there you go. Center console, toolbox. Smart use of space. And there we go. Let me go up the yard and uh, pan back, and uh, I'll show you how to truck something. tell which way the wind's going. Let me show you the backyard here. 
nothing small about these yards today. They all got a good size to them. So that is 10. 10 yards done. I guess I owe you guys a time now. Remember, normally I would be done by 2. Start about 7.30, quarter to 8, and I'd be done by 2. Figure about 6, 6 hours roughly. 6 hours. So let me... Let me put my blower away. Okay. Say bye-bye number 10. And there was that other one we did just a minute ago. <laughs> Let me uh, get in. And... Oh! Let me fire up the, uh, the phone here. And give you guys a time. Two forty six.